Yes, yesterday was a, an about face for the Federal Reserve on a variety of fronts. What we saw was that the projections for the economy, both this year and next year, are so strong and that the inflation that you just mentioned is not just temporary, it's more permanent. And the unemployment picture is going to be so good by the end of 2022, we'll see unemployment down around 3.5%, that the Federal Reserve is shifting its entire focus from the economy recovering after the pandemic and helping the economy recover to fighting inflation. So, Bruce, what does the end of bond buying mean for investors? So the Federal Reserve, in order to help keep interest rates low, which helps economic growth, especially when we were coming out of the pandemic, has been buying long-term treasuries and mortgage bonds. That pushes down longer-term interest rates and helps keep mortgages, commercial loans, car loans, all loans of all kinds, down in terms of the cost to consumers. Now that they are stopping their bond buying, they will terminate buying bonds in the United States by middle of March, as opposed to June. So that will stop. And what that also does is sets up the stage for starting to raise short-term interest rates. All right, and as you just talked about that, Bruce, so how soon and how fast will the Federal Reserve raise those rates? The interest rates are likely to rise three times in 2022. So we're going to go from very low or almost zero interest rates to about three quarters of 1% by the end of 2022. Those rates will continue to rise based on current projections to about one and a half percent by the end of 2023. And by early the winter of 2024 and spring, we'll be back up to where short term interest rates are likely at around 2%, assuming the economy unfolds the way the Fed expects.